This is Florida Gulf Coast University. I'm Annette Snap, and I am the colloquium coordinator. We're here on the Big Cypress Seminole Indian Reservation. We believe that we may be on site of Waxy Hadjo's Landing, so we are trying to find evidence of that. My name is Christina Start, and my major is anthropology. We had to start a new unit. What we have to do is we start out with our datum point, which is always our southwest corner and then we have to use our prism rod along with our total station to take measurements of each corner. My name is Stephen Laloja. I'm an anthropology major. This is unit F. As you can see here in the strat in the wall, there is a good level of gravel like you'd find in your normal Florida driveway. As soon as I got below it, enormous amounts of funnel remains coming up. For our first level, we sift and we take any artifacts, any funnel remains, and we pick those out, and then as we go deeper down in the levels, we bag those. My name is Catherine Galuso, and I'm an anthropology major. We have a clavicle and a scapula in this area, as well as a possible patella from the butchering of a possible deer, and we found a lot of prior crack rock, which is evidence for cooking, as well as some uh, shell tools. It's all in one layer, which means it's a possible single episode of, of one night of cooking. For the first time, we can see people living on a surface here, rather than seeing tons and tons and tons of surfaces all jumbled together. So we're finding less, but spatially, it's pretty meaningful. It's excavation work. We've also done a little bit of shovel testing, which is just digging small holes to greater depths than you can with uh, excavation work. Lee Bouchong, I'm a uh, graduate student for Gulf Coast University, forensic anthropology. What we have here is the remnants of all the soil that we took out of Test Treble Pit 1. We hit a very soft calcium carbonate base layer. And curiously enough, uh, within that layer, we started to find more of, of the faunal material that we've been speaking about. It's the remnants of reptiles and mammals. And we even found some pottery in it. That's something that I was only hoping to find but I haven't come across yet, but that's a shell. There may at one point in time be marine life over here. We're gonna do further testing on the soil itself and maybe it'll give us some insight into the formation of the island itself. After this class in the fall, we're going to have a lab class. They're gonna take the artifacts that came from this excavation work and they're gonna start processing it. Actually experiencing this archeology span and just different aspects of it really opened my eyes to how these people work and what they actually do. It's an amazing opportunity for me. It's been really gratifying watching the students as they engage with the site. I have a large interest in uh, zooarchaeology and paleo-Indian archaeology. I love my hunter-gatherer groups and my animals, so it's, it's really exciting to be specifically in this unit here. It's a great opportunity for anybody who wants to take a class like this to just be immersed in it and then also to have the opportunity to be on the reservation and to learn more about Seminole heritage while being immersed in that environment, I think adds something really, really special to this field school.